Hello, good evening. The Independent Police Complaints Commission is appealing for witnesses following the death of a man from Nuneaton. 32-year-old Darren Campbell ended up in hospital earlier this month after contact with the police. His family and friends say they need answers about what happened to him and they're organising a march for justice. Audrey Diaz reports. Darren Cumberbatch leaves behind a family searching for answers. The 32-year-old was last seen alive and well in Edward Street in Nuneaton on Monday the 10th of July. By the end of the day, he was in hospital in intensive care. He died on Wednesday. I'd say to any viewer, how would you feel? Would you not want answers? Would you not want the authorities to account? And I think importantly right now, the smoke screens sometimes which go up in cases like this, we need to clear those away and get the answers that not just the family and friends but what a community and what the public seek. Reverend Jadu is now working with the family to monitor how the Independent Police Complaints Commission carries out its investigation. A post-mortem is due to take place on Tuesday. The Independent Police Complaints Commission are keen to speak to anyone who may have been in the area between midnight and half one in the morning on Monday the 10th of July. They say their investigators will also soon be conducting house-to-house -house inquiries. The IPCC says there's been a lot of unhelpful speculation on social media about Darren's death, but a spokesman said... I would like to reassure all of those concerned that we will thoroughly and independently examine the circumstances surrounding his tragic death in order to establish the facts. A campaign group Justice for Darren's been set up in his memory and there will be a public meeting and a march later this month. Audrey Diaz, BBC Midlands Today, Nuneaton. Yes, that's Audrey Diaz uh, reporting on Darren Cumberbatch's death. 16